The Saunders Row Skeeter was a light two-seat single-rotor helicopter designed for training and aerial reconnaissance. It originated from the Sierva Autogyro Company in 1947, initially designated as the Doe 14 Skeeter. The project aimed to produce a compact, inexpensive helicopter suitable for both civilian and military use. The first prototype flew on October 10, 1948, powered by a 100-horsepower Jameson FF1 engine. However, this engine proved unreliable, overheating during flight tests. The Skeeter was then redesigned as the Mark II, equipped with a 145-horsepower de Havilland Gipsy Major 10 engine. Despite improved power, the Mark II was plagued by ground resonance issues and was destroyed in 1950 during testing. After the Sierva company closed in 1951, Saunders Row, Sarrow, took over development. Engineers redesigned critical systems including the rotor hub, undercarriage, and transmission. The Mark III-B version used a 180-horsepower Blackburn Bombardier engine and featured upgraded systems. Ground resonance remained an issue until the Mark V, which incorporated friction dampers and redesigned landing gear, successfully resolved the problem. It underwent intensive trials and proved stable, leading to renewed military interest. In 1956, the British Army placed orders for the Skeeter AOP.12 and T-11 variants, powered by a 215-horsepower Gipsy Major engine. The Skeeter entered service in 1958 and was used by the British Army Air Corps, German Army, and Navy. A total of 78 production units and 10 prototypes were built. The Skeeter featured a metal frame, three-bladed main rotor, an anti-torque tail rotor. It had a fixed tricycle landing gear and a fully glazed canopy offering wide visibility. Power from the piston engine was transmitted via a simple yet effective drive system. For high temperature environments, some Skeeters were modified with Napier NRE-19 rocket-assisted rotors using high-test peroxide. Though functional, the complexity and risk of handling HTP in military operations led to the cancellation of this modification. Plans to develop a turbine-powered version were abandoned after British helicopter companies merged into Westland Aircraft in 1960. However, the Skeeter laid the foundation for the Westland Scout and Wasp helicopters, which carried forward design principles learned from the Skeeter program. Today, surviving examples of the Skeeter are preserved in museums across the United Kingdom, Germany, and Poland. While it never became a widely adopted civilian model, the Skeeter holds historical significance as the first helicopter used by the British Army Air Corps and as a pioneering step in British light rotorcraft development.